Hello guys, in this video we start with the first step of a new box preparation. I need of course a new 2019 server to install SQL server on it. And in course one of Windows Server 2019 series, we had learned how to create a source machine. We run at that time the sysprep and then we start to create our sources. Then we clone all the machines we have in there. We start to set initial configuration tasks. Then we promote the main domain controller and all machines join them to the domain. All of that we did it previously in course one. Now we have a few challenges. The first challenge, I need to make sure my network is in a stable condition before joining the new box uh, to the domain. And this is what we will do it in the next videos. But for now, my main aim in this step is to create just a new box. And this box, I need to prepare it to be able to install a SQL Server 2019 on it. So what I need to do now in my source, as we see in here, I have Server 2019 source. Of course, you can create a machine from scratch if you want a new virtual machine and install Windows Server 2019 on it. Or if you already have the source from our previous courses, you need just to click first on the server. Then we need to right click. And if we access to manage, we can now clone it. So welcome to clone virtual machine wizard. Next. So what do you want to clone? I can clone the current state of a virtual machine. Next. And it is a link to clone. No, it is a full clone. So it is independent from its parent because in case you create a link to clone, then the new box is going to be smaller in size, but it depend on server 2019 to work the source one if this machine is being deleted later you won't be able to access to the child so that's why i don't prefer link clone unless if you don't have enough space create a full clone next now give it a name uh, this one i will name it sql 2019a and finish just waiting for the clone all is good we can close now our wizard and in here now i have my sql 2019a i want to add it to this folder or group of 2019 network so drag and drop it in here try to put it under dc1 in victoria i have now sql server 2019 if i check the settings for it because this one is sql server so i need to give it a special treatment if you don't have enough memory keep it to two gigabyte but if you have enough memory then please increase it to four gigabyte 4096 megabyte processor is fine hard 60 gigabyte at this stage is fine uh, we don't expect anything additional currently the network adapter is being connected to NAT this is of course wrong I need to connect it with all other machines and for all other machines this one connected to pre-switch one and for this one also I need to connect it to pre-switch one so just edit again now the size of the memory we need to make it 496 connecting custom to please which one which is in our case uh, we connect it to g cyber network so now dc1 is pre switch one sql is pre switch one later of course i need to join it to the domain now in the next step we need first to power it on give it initial configuration task according to the plan and uh, give it a name give it a static ip address it is a server then before joining it to the domain I need to make sure to have steady network and this is what we need to cover in the next videos then once we joining it to the domain we will be able then to install a sql server so this is now the first step in our preparation and we have to continue in the next video thanks for watching